guys, this is Greg's here with another YouTube channel art template. So the first thing you can do to edit it, because you don't want it also in your name, is select the names and highlight and press delete. Yep, they're gone forever. Next thing you're gonna do is go to text and type and do a font size of I think 36 or actually 48. And then choose the font. I'm using Ready Crusader. I got it off of thefont.com. Really great website. And then type in your name. So I'm just going to type in Twitch name. In blue colour here. This one. Just like that. Maybe 48 is a bit too big. So I'm going to do um, 36. Yeah. Then do another low layer and type in your Facebook name. Do another layer, type in your Twitter name. Do another layer and type in your Instagram name. Once you've finished all that, whoa, well, yeah, you probably got all of the names in the wrong spots, and they're probably in weird layouts, so that's why we did it on different layers. So the first name you do is the Twitch one, so that's already in the right place, I think. And then this layer 16 is the Facebook one, so you can use that and move it. You can even use the arrow keys. Layer 17 is the Twitter one. Layer 18 is the Instagram one. So once you've got all those positioned, press rectangle select and just click off of the selection. Then go to merge layer down and merge it down until there's just the top layer as names. Now this is all one layer, all of these different names you've put in. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and do magic wand, zoom in a bit, and hold shift and click on one of the letters. Then you're going to do a gradient, choose your primary colour, I'm doing that blue, then choose your secondary colour, I'm doing the slightly darker blue underneath it, then click on primary again, and just do a nice gradient, whatever angle you like. So I'm going to think I'm going to do something like that. Once you've found out where you want your gradient to be, do rectangle select and just click off of the selection. And there you have it. That is your, well they're your social media names. Then what you've got to do is select it, click on duplicate layer, then click on the bottom one. Click on move selected pixels and just move that down a bit like that, press adjustments, brightness and contrast and turn the brightness down to minus 100 and the contrast up to about 10 or 20, I think I'm, yeah just probably about 10 is good, then press ok. Now you can see it gives it a sort of 3D effect. You can still use the arrow keys to move them up and down to make the 3D effect smaller or bigger depending on your likings. Then click on rectangle select and click off of the selection again. So that's all the social media names done. What you're going to do next is click on big name. No, you're not going to click on big name, you're going to click on layer 16. Just double check it's this big name, this your name in the middle. And then just do the tick just to double check yep that is the right one so then you're going to click on layer 16 and press delete make a new layer and call it the I don't know big name then do text and make a font do a font size of probably 96 I'm going to select center align and just center it and just type in your name 
if it's got two parts to it, do it on two separate lines. So say your, then do another layer, and write name underneath it like that. And then just use this to move it around. Once you think you've got the right position, click on layer 17 and just merge it down. You don't need to do that if it's all in one line. Next thing I'm going to do is do effects, object, outline object, do an outline in black, which you don't want it in blue. Do the outline radius as 10 and strength as 10. Once you've done that, you will see that there's this black outline around the parts where the splash pattern doesn't actually affect it. Well, once you've finished that, you are ready, then you can go ahead, click save as, do PNG, press save, and do quality that's under 4 megabytes so I'm gonna have to do 8 megabytes here press OK and press flatten and there you have it that's your channel up ready to upload straight to YouTube because it's already the right resolution you won't have to do any cropping unless you upload it wrong or mess around with something